and gentlemen, it is the time now for our first keynote speaker session with Professor Dr. Manabu Sumida from Ehime University, Japan. Professor Manabu will deliver his speech entitled STEAM Education for Society 5.0 in Japan. I will pass the microphone to Dr. Ehsan Ismail as the moderator for the session. The stage is yours, Dr. Ehsan. A very good morning to distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let us thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has been giving us some mercies and blessings so that we can attend this conference without any trouble. Alhamdulillah. We are now live in conference with Bex, FB and UMT, official YouTube channel. I would like to welcome all of you to the first keynote address in IC STEM 2021. I'm Dr. Isan Ismail from the Ministry of Education Malaysia. We are honored and privileged to have our first keynote speaker this morning live from Japan. Well, it, I would like to welcome Professor Manabu Sumida from Ashima University, Japan. Ladies and gentlemen, before the presentation begins, allow me to introduce Prof. Sumida. Prof. Sumida is currently a professor of science education department at Faculty of Education, Ashima University, and associate director of Institute for International Relations, and also a special aide to the president of Ashima University. He is also the principal of Ashima University Senior High School. Professor Sumida holds a PhD in science education from Hiroshima University. He was visiting researcher at University of Georgia in 1998 and visiting scholar at the University of Cambridge in 2012 to 2013. He was a committee member of the Trans International Mathematics and Science Study or TIMS 2003 and the OECD Program for International Student Assessment or PISA 2006 and 2015. He received International Contribution Award in 2016 and Academic Contribution Award in 2018 from Japan Society for Science Education. He also received Ryoji Noyori Education Award in 2013. Prof. Manabu is also actively involved in associations such as Japan Society of Science Education where he is currently the Director General. He is also a Regional Representative for Asia of the International Council of Association for Science Education. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I would like to welcome Prof. Sumida to deliver his keynote address entitled STEAM Education for Society 5.0 in Japan. Prof, the floor is yours. Thank you, Dr. Ihsan Isman, for the kind introduction. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So, yes. okay. Thank you. The first of all, I'd like to thank you, um, C. Haja No Zamani Binti Abdul Hamid, a Ministry of Education, and Dr. Mazalam bin Abdul Ghafra, uh, Vice Chancellor, University of Manilaysia, Tilagan, and the uh, H. Puthardin bin Haj Ghazali. Uh, Director General of uh, Education Malaysia. Uh, thank you for having such a great conference. And uh, also, I'd like to thank you, the organizers, uh, because I heard that the number of participants are more than 700, as it's a very big number, and they held in virtually. So I, I believe that the uh, the uh, dedicated effort to make the conference success. Thank you very much. And uh, I'd like also uh, to send my deepest gratitude to all those affiliated uh, with the medical profession, from the doctors and nurses uh, to the technician, office staff, and the hospital workers, and the health caregivers. Uh, thank you to everyone everywhere who is working to keep us safe. So let's uh, move to my presentation and uh, I'm sharing my PowerPoint slide. So I've tried that. Please wait for a while. Can you see this? No? Oh. Can you make it bigger, Salai? Oh. 
How about this? Okay. <laughs> oh, if so, I think the if one, uh, could you share the PowerPoint slide that I sent you yesterday? I think it looks better. Okay, we can see you now. Yes. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Yeah. So, next slide, please. Okay. Oh, it's. Oh, yes, this one. So, in Japanese, so I want to talk a bit about the Japanese context of STEM education. So, science and technology in Japan. So, this is a Japanese character, science technology. So in Japanese, kagaku gijutsu. This is not equal to English word science and technology because Japanese kagaku gijutsu is a word, one word, and the science and technology mutually embedded in each other in the language origin. So Japanese people like a brand so, for example, brand of science and technology. So, not the dualism, but the harmony. So, uh, this is a Japanese spirit, and uh, uh, this Japanese culture is lif uh, is reflected on the university structure. For example, the Ehime University, the number of faculty students, faculty of science is about one thousand, and. Uh, Number the number of students faculty of engineering is two thousand. The Kyoto University, a very the largest number of Japanese scientists who have won the Nobel Prize in science, and uh, even Kyoto University faculty of science, the number of students is one thousand three hundred ninety one, and uh, the number of that uh, at in faculty of engineering is four thousand. So Japanese STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So which do you give the accent on that? So Japanese culture give the accent, science, technology, and engineering, and mathematics. This is Japanese culture. OK, next slide, please. Today, I prepared uh, four topics. So I hope you enjoy my presentation and uh, uh, it includes a bit of history after World War II uh, from, since 1950s. So I hope to share some of the Japanese resilience in science and technology. Okay, so next slide, please. So what is Society 5.0 uh, following on from the Hunting Gathering Society? the first one, and uh, agrarian society, the second, and industrial society, third, and information society, the fourth. The Japanese government are uh, thinking about the fourth stage called as society 5.0. Um, there are some key words, for example, a human-centered society and the balances between economic development, so development and the solution of social problems, so both, and integration of cyberspace and the physical space. Okay, so next slide, please. As we move into society 5.0, all people's lives will be more comfortable and sustainable as people are provided with only the products and services in the amount and at time needed. So I think some of you may know Motainai word. So less is more. 
but uh, how do we curricular measure or think about such a tailor-made way uh, so the IT or big data is useful. So big data collected by Internet of Things will be converted into a new type of intelligence by artificial intelligence and will reach every corner of society. So in society 5.0, new values created through innovation or will eliminate regional, age, gender, and language gaps and uh, enable the provision of products and services tailored to diverse individual needs. So that's a kind of tailor-made style uh, life and society. Okay, next slide, please. So Japan's advanced technology uh, cultivated from monozukuri, so Japan's excellence in manufacturing of things, and years of basic research uh, will work as advantages toward creating products using information technology. By taking advantage of these unique factors, Japan will overcome social challenges such as a decrease in the productive age population, aging of local communities, and energy and environmental issues. In this way, it will be possible to achieve a society that can both promote economic development and find solutions to social problems as well. Okay, next slide, please. Let me introduce a case. Uh, for example, by connecting and sharing medical data that is now dispersed, uh, dispersed in various hospitals, effective medical treatment based on the data would be provided at home and at ease. For example, remote medical care makes it possible, uh, especially for elderly persons. Elderly person will no longer have to visit the hospitals frequently. Also, uh, we can measure and manage health data such as heartbeat, heart rate. And so that will, may, uh, that will be possible to extend not only for elderly person, but also for all people's healthy life. Next slide, please. Because there is a limit to what people can do the task of finding the necessary information from overflowing information and analyzing it was a burden. And the labor and the scope of action were restricted uh, due to age and uh, varying degrees of ability. Also due to various restrictions on issues such as uh, decreasing birth rate and aging population and local uh, depopulation it was difficult to respond adequately. So the social reform innovation in society 5.0 will achieve a forward-looking society uh, that breaks down the existing sense of stagnation, a society whose members have mutual respect for each other, transcending the generations and the society in which each and every person can lead an active and joyful life. Next slide, please. Okay. Uh, Node 4 said that the present labor market is inefficient and not uh, designed for an innovative or people-centered economy. So in an innovation economy, raising the value of people is actually better business than lower the cost of task, not cost cutting, but more appreciating uh, human capitals. Okay, so next. So let me look at the short video that Japanese government prepared for the Society 5.0. So please play the video clip.
10分後に荷物をお届けします。からやってきたのは新たな配送サービスドローン宅配荷物を届けるのが大変だった山間部での実施が始まりいずれは都市部でも本格化していきますまたスマートフォンなどとの連携で自分が今いる場所に届けてくれるようにもなるでしょう朝ごはん何にしようかなほうれん草とリンゴでスムージーはいかがですかいいね牛乳がもうすぐなくなるので注文しますかよろしく例えば冷蔵庫に人工知能 AI が入ったら話しかけるだけで今あるものでできるレシピを提案してくれたり食材が足りなくなったら注文しますかと聞いてくれたりそんな暮らしが当たり前になっていきます AI 技術を取り入れた AI 家電が毎日をサポートしてくれるようになりますそろそろお出かけの時間ですいや夕方から雨の予報です傘を忘れずにあ,ありがとうコロッケパンとミックスサンドいつものお店でお願い注文しておきます人工知能を搭載し音声でさまざまなコミュニケーションができる AI スピーカー話しかけると音楽を再生したり今日の天気を教えてくれたりするだけではありません e コマースとの連動で欲しいものを欲しいお店に頼んでおくことができるようになっていきます昨日から血圧が高いみたいですがあらそうおばあちゃんが行っているのはオンライン診察毎日の体温や血圧をセンサーによって自動で測定し体調に変化があれば診察を提案してくれます自宅にいながらスマホやタブレットで遠く離れた病院の先生と顔を見ながら受診できるから例えば今まで週に1回だった通院を月に1回に減らすことも通院の手間や病院での待ち時間が節約できますおばあちゃんやってきますいってらっしゃい気をつけてねはい。例えば自動で田畑を耕してくれる無人トラクター GPS 衛星導きを使ってセンチメートル単位の精度で操作家のパソコンから予約をしておくこともできます田畑での作業負担が減るだけではありません ICT の活用によって生育状況や日照時間などのデータを蓄積し最適な育て方を導き出してくれます おはよう。おはようございます。はい、これ。ありがとう。この商店が導入しているのは会計クラウド。先ほど家の AI スピーカーから頼んだパンは、実はこのお店に注文されていたのです。オーダーから会計まで全てをクラウドで一元管理。そ
so you can imagine uh, what we are thinking about. And uh, there are some points. So society 5.0, the benefit is not only for people in urban places, but also the rural areas and the old generations from younger generation to elderly person. And very comfortable and tailor made it. Okay, so let's move to the next slide, please. So I think the time is <laughs> going, so I will skip some. The what is good design in Japan? So because I prepared this content because when we think about the STEM education, engineering, so designing process is quite difficult to imagine or to uh, think about. So this is a very good example, good design award in Japan. The Good Design Award is a movement uh, aimed at enrich. Oh, next slide, please. Enriching our lives and the society through design. And uh, uh, since the foundation in 1957, about six years ago, by the Ministry of International Trade and Industry, it has been commonly known together with GMAC. Okay, next slide, pray, please. Okay, skip. Next, please. So, this history and the future will be interesting and they show the Japanese resilience uh, in developing science and technology societies. So, 1950s, reforming the social consciousness through design. And the 1970s, internationalization and the the Japan original that focused on spiritual happiness. And 1980s, the third phase, uh, third phase, changing values, a new beginning for the Good Design Award, and 2000, since 2000, the evolution of information and the new stance for Good Design Award, the rapid development of ICT in the 20s, uh, 21st century has accelerated further in the years and uh, all sorts of things are being connected by network. So now we are connected, so more than 700 people connected online. So building on the cooperation, the so international cooperation is also uh, enhanced. The cooperation with Thailand on the information of the Design Excellence Award in 2008, and they lent their support to India's IMARC in 2012, and Singapore's CSG Mark in 2014. So next slide, please. So design is not only for things, but also uh, some small booklet and uh, sites and many things. And uh, the teamwork, not only developer, but, uh, also, but designer, director, producer. So these different people, so scientists, techno technicians, or artists collaborated together to develop, to create a new design. This is important things. Okay, so next slide, please. So let's move to the 21st century style of science. Okay, next slide, please. So this, the Nobel Prize, this is an analysis of Nobel Prize in chemistry. So the prize is awarded by the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences and has been awarded to 163 lorries from 1901 to 19, uh, 2012. So one of the reasons why the Nobel Prize is one of the most prestigious awards is that this was the first international science award. So this figure illustrates the number of chemistry lorries and the countries of the affiliation at the time of the award in the three different time frames. Even though laws and concepts of chemistry are common across languages and cultures, the center of chemistry research has been changing through time. It's clear that Nobel scene was Eurocentric, 
Eurocentric in the first half of the 20th centuries. Uh, in the second half of the 20th century, 44 scientists in the United States have received the Nobel Prize for Chemistry. Ours in East Asia and Middle Eastern countries uh, seems to be on the rise in the 21st century. Okay, next slide, please. So in the three time frames, the field of the chemistry laureates were sorted and listed over 10% in each time frame in this table. The table shows that the trends fields have been changing with time and the, the emergence of biochemistry in the second half of the 20th century and structural chemistry in the 21st century were notable. So this is also a brand of uh, biology and chemistry and physics and chemistry. So the, this kind of interdisciplinary approaches are important. The next slide, please. So this table summarizes the distribution of shared and unshared Nobel Prize in chemistry in the time uh, frames. So the table shows that the percentage of one loaded only has been decreasing and the percentage of shared hours has been increasing especially about half of the Nobel Prize in chemistry were awarded to more than one scientist from different countries in the 21st century. So this trend is almost the same in the physics laureates and the uh, physiology or medicine laureates. Okay, next slide, please. So in conclusion, so the, we can extract the three important keywords. So interdisciplinary fields such as biochemistry and structured chemistry, nowadays uh, biophysics, biology and physics combined together are rising and the modern chemistry research is international and collaborative. So STEM education meets this kind of 21st century style of science and learning. Okay. So next slide, please. So the STEAM education. Okay, next, please. Uh, do you know who he is? He is Dr. Akira Yoshino. He is a researcher at the Asahi Kase Company Japan and Nobel Laureate Chemistry in 2019. So, he developed the, the lithium iron batteries. So very useful for your cell phone and the laptop computers. And so I would say he is a researcher at the company, the corporation, not academies of universities. So it's a time to share wisdom and insights and strengths in cooperation among industry, academia and the government to create a new human-centered society. So his research is very, uh, how do you say, it's a good example for that. Okay, next, please. So Japan Business Federation has emphasizing, also emphasizing the Society 5.0 to combine the digital transformation with imagination and creativity of diverse people to solve the problems facing society and create new values as well. The Japan Ministry of Education is including STEM, STEAM education from compulsory education from elementary level in the Society 5.0 era. Okay, next slide, please. So Super Science High School. So Super Science High School, I think some of you may know, uh, in Japan now uh, over 200, 217 uh, high school are designated as Super Science High Schools. This is also a good example of brand of Ministry of Education, Science and Culture and Society of Science and Technology Agencies. So different two sections in the Ministry of Education uh, combined to the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports and Science and Technology mixed in 2001 and Super Science High School started 
since 2002. This is a good example. Okay, next slide, please. So this is uh, one of Super Science High School uh, that has been designated since 2002, the first batch high school. The Matsuyama Minami High School is pursuing uh, the research team training science, technology, human resources with international competitiveness available to generate value, the STEAM education. So the, the data scientists give the special lecture to high school students and the high school students apply these uh, theory and uh, some equipments uh, to measure uh, the, to go to the supermarket to measure the uh, praise and the uh, consumption of snacks and uh, they made the uh, analysis to propose a better placement uh, of the snacks at the supermarket, something like that. And uh, they, they developed a very small portable calculator of earthquakes using the data science technology, something like that. They tried that. Okay, next slide, please. Uh, this is my uh, activities for young children. So STEAM, but the uh, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, and it can be combined with SDGs, sustainable development goals. Uh, this activity, the topic is water, water project. So finally, the children make a river at their sunspot. And uh, these sound spots are great for learning the mechanism and the behavior of water flow in the river. In the area where this kindergarten is located, a river has flooded. So many times with heavy rain damage in its history, the river, the Shigenobu River gets its name from the achievement of Mr. Adachi Shigenobu, the individual uh, who repaired the river. That is a very rare instance of naming a river after a person in Japan. So children think about the natural disaster as well. So very good example to study about uh, STEAM and SDGs integratedly. Next slide, please. This is another example that I conducted. A is not only art but also agriculture so japan is agriculture company a uh, country and the agriculture has a rich culture and history and human capitals so i included agriculture context in the steam education so children made their uh, original plant factory and uh, they can visit the university's uh, plant factory as well so nowadays farmers it might be a uh, mem staff member of international cooperation of top restaurant as well. Okay, the la next please. In this year, under the COVID-19 pandemic, I held uh, this kids' academy online. Of course, a string telephone is very popular and they can change the conditions, but uh, uh, using the technology, uh, just one dollar application made the children visible their sound, the equalizer, and the, the children study the system that amplifies sound by, vibrations in the middle air. And I asked the children to submit the 13 second sound of summer and combine and arrange the, these children's uh, submission to one uh, songs like that. Okay. The last slide, please. So the, these are the activities that the Ehime University Kids Academy is uh, conducted. I am the founder of the Kids Academy since uh, 2020. And uh, now the member are almost 40 uh, nationwide. And uh, yeah, I like this kind of network to enhance STEAM education from early years. Okay, so that's my presentation today. Thank you very much. Uh, Turimakasi Banya. 
Wow, oh, thank you so much, Prof. Uh, thank you for the very informative and amazing presentation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, now we have come to the Q&A session so, uh, since uh, I think we only have about five more minutes. So I'll, we have received quite a number of questions uh, on the chat section. I'll read some, uh, maybe I'll, yeah, I'll just choose one question first. Uh, if we have time, we can uh, maybe I can read more questions. So <clears throat> this question come from Fazila. Uh, hello, doctor. Uh, firstly, congrats. I'm amazed and excited with your presentation. But my questions are, and, uh, so she has two questions. The first one, how to balance all the technology adv advancement stated in Society 5.0 with the human interaction, since most of our lifestyle will deal with AI advancement and limited interaction with people around us? And secondly, how to make sure everyone benefited from the technology ad advancement if they cannot afford it? Is it free to everyone? So, Prof, uh, can you answer the two questions from Padilla? Okay. So, thank you for the question. The first one, how to balance all the technology. That's very important. But uh, again, so Japanese culture is, uh, so we like a brand. So, uh, how to brand and uh, how to make, so I think one of the solutions is that uh, I said tailor-made. So, appropriate balance is different uh, from each other. So I, we would like to use the artificial in, intelligence or data, big data to tailor to make this technology fit individuals. That's uh, important. So the balance is different each other individuals. And uh, especially, so we are thinking about, especially the handicapped person, elderly person. So. Japanese people think about education for all. And the second question, how did everyone benefit the technology? Oh, that it. So yes, so Japanese government started to uh, construct the high-speed Wi-Fi to all schools. This is a giga school uh, policy. And the elementary children and the junior high school students they provide, uh, the government provided free tablet uh, since this year. And uh, I think the elderly person and the handicapped person and the people in rural areas should be uh, benefited as well. Okay. That's all, Rob. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Right, I think we have we can have one more question. Uh, so we have a question from Dr. Sheila. How the J Japanese school curriculum planning towards making society 5.0 a success? How many years to make this a reality? Ah, uh, uh, the Japanese new curriculum has been uh, has started uh, since last year in elementary school and the junior high and the high school next year. So I think that nowadays. So the old tradition, the first we have to construct the system and then implement it. But nowadays, uh, constructing or arranging the system, so we implement it with constructing the, or arranging, adjusting the system, the parallel. So we already started. We have already started. Okay. Thank you so much, Prof, for your answers. But uh, we, we can have one more question, uh, this, this time from Mr. Azman. Yeah, Mr. Azman, very impressive use of technology to ease the daily chores. Congratulations. Do you have any issues regarding the security of the personal data? Would there be any threat to data theft or something like that? That's a very good question. So I am now in charge of Ehime University Senior High School School, the principal. So the school is now uh, making the uh, ethics policy, so security policy for internet use. And uh, all students have to uh, study and uh, check the important uh, factors of the security. And then uh, they are permitted to use such a uh, internet of things at school. So we are now constructing these policies at school. That's a very important point. Okay, thank you, Prof. 
Uh, I think uh, the time is up, so we have come to the end of our session uh, today, this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, thank you so much for your participation and uh, thank you, uh, Prof, for your very informative and very uh, um, interesting uh, presentation. Hopefully, uh, your presentation will be very beneficial for everybody in this uh, conference. Yeah. All right, so I would like to... Uh, give uh, back to our MC, uh, our MC to continue with uh, other session. But before that, maybe we can have a photo session together with our Prof. Sumida. Okay. Technical team, yeah? Thank you. Thank you so much, Prof. And thank you, everybody. Okay, get ready in the line. We are going to uh, take picture in three, two, one. Say one more, a little bit candid. One, two, Three. Okay, thank you so much, everybody. So thank you very much. Uh, I please stay healthy, and I hope to see you in the future, not virtually, but in person. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, Pro. And all, all presenters, you are welcome to enter your respective rooms for your presentations. For attendees, you are welcome to any room according to the selected sub-themes to watch the presentations and also to the IC STEM websites to view all the posters available there. With that, I wish all presenters good luck and happy conferencing to all attendees as well.